Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm going to be talking about this Solar Glow Azalea from the Southern Living Plant Collection. Uh, this is a uh, native azalea. These are um, super, super underused. Uh, this Sunbow series that the Southern Living Plant Collection has uh, has a solar flare, which I think I have a video for because I put it in at the um, um, at my old house. And then this one's called Solar Glow. And I didn't really cover it very much when I put it in the ground because it was a little one gallon container a little over a year ago. And here it is in its full uh, glory. Solar Glow has more of an orange, a total orange flower where um, Solar Flare has an orange bud and then the center of the flower is yellow. These have an incredible honeysuckle uh, fragrance to them. Um, it's just absolutely amazing. Uh, this variety is going to get in probably the six to eight foot range, maintainable in the six to eight foot range, maybe three to four feet, four to five feet in width, something like that. Kind of an upright, narrow habit. I'll probably keep it a little bit smaller than this along my back path. I've got this one in the absolute perfect spot. Um, it is getting direct sun. It's about to be in the direct sun here about 8.30 in the morning. and It'll remain there until about 2.30 in the afternoon and then it goes into the shade, which is kind of an ideal place for this. I planted this azalea like you'd plant any other azalea. Just leave them mounted up just a bit. Uh, they don't particularly like wet feet. Once established, these are incredibly you know, drought tolerant and forgiving. Uh, after, after it blooms, I could prune it if I needed to. Obviously, this is a very small plant, so it doesn't need any pruning, but once it reaches you know, above the height I want to maintain it at. It can be pruned after it flowers each year. The flower buds are set on these uh, in the summertime and it's just awesome because they form right on the tops of the stems as you can see where the flowers have opened from. And it's one of the best plants in the world for just anticipation. You get to see those flower buds, you get to see them fattening up all winter long and then the first, you know, solid warm week, um, you know, where the soil temperature reaches probably near 60 somewhere in there these open up and they're you know just beautifully fragrant a lot of people are turned off by deciduous plants you know plants that lose their leaves in the winter time but look what this thing does with no leaves on it uh look how you every single flower just is such a show off i can't wait for it to really be uh larger next year and uh you know show you guys that one of the main features of this uh this particular series this sunbow series is the foliage is incredibly clean. I talked about that in my solar flare video back um, at the old house. Is just uh, not only after this thing, after it finishes flowering the leaves out, the, the foliage is just perfect. And it stayed perfect for me all summer long. A lot of um, native azaleas, the foliage can get kind of tired looking um, toward, toward late summer, but these were just fantastic. And then they showed off with some fall color as well. So. Again, this is Solar Glow and uh, Solar Flare uh, is also available if you want kind of a, a, bright, a slightly brighter yellow uh, than this orange. But I just wanted to show this one off this week. Uh, thanks for watching.